Hello now I am going to show you how can we make homemade chain wax lubricant. The main ingredient that we are going to use is candel wax. It is a soft colorless solid derived from petroleum, coal or shale oil that consists of a mixture of hydrocarbon molecules containing between 20 and 40 carbon atoms. The advantage of paraffin wax is the fairly slippery solid wax that do not attract dirt like oil based lubricants. The second ingredient will be an additive package from readily available product. We can use greases for bearing, CV axles containing molybdenum, silicon, teflon. The purpose of the grease is to make the mixture more pliable with better lubrication properties. In this instance we are going to use molybdenum CV axle grease and a calcium grease with very good water repelling properties. The last ingredient is petroleum jelly. It will make the wax softer and stickier. This is basically massage cream. Now we are going to use a pot for milk boiling. The first step is the melting of the candel wax. In my case I will use an induction stove and aluminum milk boiling pot. At the end I will remove the candle wicks. It will take some time. Now we are going to put the petroleum jelly. I suggest having a rack for cleaning nearby. It will dissolve fairly quickly. For waxing bicycle and motorcycle chains it is better to use more paraffin wax and less grease. Usually 60% wax, 20% petroleum jelly and 20% grease will be preferable. If the grease is more than that the mixture will be sticky and will attract more dirt. Mixture of 50% grease to 50% wax is more like an actual grease. The last one is more suitable for lubricating like door hinges and similar devices where use of grease is not very appropriate. Once it is done the heat can be turned off. Next will be the harder part.
One of the problems is that paraffin is not good oil-based solvent. This means that normally wax and grease do not mix. For that reason waxing chains is done after the chain is degreased. For two to be mixed it is needed for the mixture to cool down and the paraffin to start solidify. Then the grease and the wax will start mixing mechanically because their viscosity will be closer. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is painful, all is said and done. Oh, I am restricted, fixed upon the web. I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in. Break out, I've got to. When all things are mixed together, the heat can be turned on. After it is remounted, it can be used on chains. The whole process took around two hours. Remelting this quantity of wax will take probably one hour and can be used for many time over. The time advantage comes when several chain are waxed and prepared together. For example three chains can be waxed and used for intervals of two or three months and the next waxing will be in nine months. For comparison a mixture only of paraffin wax will be generally hard and brittle. It will lubricate but the paraffin will flake off more easily. The red mixture is suitable for uses on chains. The last one is more like paraffin grease. On chains it will not drain up very easily and it will be very messy. Thanks for watching. If you have any question ask below.